this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Y'all, I'm back working on my next item for my partner. Um, if you watched my video yesterday, I received my dies from my th favorite things. And one of them was these tag dies. And then the other one was these dies so you could make um, the chapstick holders or the lip balm holders. So I decided I was gonna do one in the beautiful Maggie Holmes collection paper for my partner. So I've already taken this one. This is the top piece. I've already cut this one out. I'm gonna use this one that looks like um, the little flag. Um, I'm not gonna use this one on this particular one, but I'm gonna use this one. And I've already taken this one and I glued a white piece to it to make it a little more thick and more sturdy and the white is actually 110 pound cardstock so for the back piece here's the back piece i want to use i'm going to put the white up inside because i don't want this black and white showing through with this on there i just don't like that um what i did do as i did find um i can't remember the name of the site um the thing that's like the pull tab to put on the back of these that way then um, it actually will kind of, oh, you can pull it, open it up. So when I make these for my craft fair, I will be using that on the back. But for the sake of my video and sake of my, my swap, I'm just going to go ahead and she'll just be able to open it, just open it regularly without the pull tab. So I'm going to go ahead and I put double-sided tape on the back of this one because I've already cut my pieces. This is going to be the piece that I put around here once I put my little uh, clear clear part up underneath there. But I'm going to get this together. This is going to be quick. Once you do these, you can just decorate them up as, as easy as you want or as much as you want. I'm just going to kind of make mine simple but cute. And so all I'm going to do is layer these up because I want it to be nice and sturdy. I want to make sure that all adheres really well. And then I'll be able to put this and it will be on the back and I'll still have pink on the back. Okay, so now I'm going to use some of these. These right here. And, um, excuse me, I've got to sneeze, y'all. Um, these right here are for the chapstick holders. And I grabbed a chapstick. And what I did is I went ahead and I cut myself a piece of paper that is two inches wide. And this one is about, oh, it's four inches long. It's way too long. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap it around you can cut it if you want but I'm just gonna wrap it and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of tape you can put some glue I'm just gonna put a little bit of tape for the sake of the video and I'm just gonna put it like that so then the chapstick will go up inside here and it will be all nice and pretty so I'm gonna go ahead we're gonna put this up inside it'll be going right up inside here and then this piece will go over here to make it look more finished. But I'm gonna go ahead, let's go ahead and put some, some uh, glue or tape. I think I'll do tape. Got some eighth inch tape here. And I'm gonna kind of put it around. Just to kind of hold this in place. But I looked on my favorite things um, for to be able to buy that thing that's like it's the pull tab to go on the back. And I, I don't think they're selling it anymore. I did find a video from my favorite things on how to put this together. And they were using it. But the video was older. So I guess they don't have it anymore. But I did find another um, website that has some similar. So I ordered one. It was like seven bucks. But I thought, you know, I'm just going to get it because I want for the craft fair, I want these to, I want it to have that pull thing in the back. 
when I get it, it'll be easier for me to explain. And thank you to everyone that's been watching my cute video. The one that I said, look at this, is so cute. I mean, that one's been my, that's my best video so far. So thank you so very much for watching it. And all the comments. Okay, I gotta get this tape down here. There it goes. Got one more side here. And then what I'm going to do is now I'm going to put this up inside here. And press down where I put that tape. Make sure that's get down really well. And then I'm going to put my chapstick up inside. For my craft fair, I will actually be probably using like original chapstick, but this is for the sake of my video. And then these right here will go on top, and how cute is that going to be? Let me grab my glue. I'm going to go ahead and get this top piece on. I went ahead and cut this. This is like a pale pink or like the blush color. So, last weekend, my youngest grandchild, he ended up sleeping over with us. And he is six. He is very much into Pokemon. So, before we took him home Sunday, we went and found him some new Pokemon cards to add in his binder. So, y'all, earlier today... <laughs> He called. He used my daughter's phone, and my daughter told him, No, Graham, I've already bought you Pokemon cards. You don't need any more. Well, what did he do? He called. He said he told her, uh, Is this Moggy's phone number? Yeah, that my grandkids call me Moggy. And she goes, Yes. He went in the bedroom and he called me himself. And he says, Moggy, can you buy me this? And I'm like, why? He goes, I really want it. It's more cards for his collection. He's really, really passionate about this. There was some little lints up in there as well. I was trying to fix it. So, okay. It's going to go like this. Now, I'm just going to adhere this together. And I think that I will probably just put some glue on this part. Um, but anyway, so he called me. Hey, will you buy this? Of course. I said, well, where do I buy something like that? And he said, I don't know. And he's using my daughter's phone. My daughter comes in there and she's, what are you doing, Graham? And he's like, I'm talking to Maki. And I said, he wants me to buy him Pokemon cards. She goes, Graham, she already bought you Pokemon cards. Okay, I think I just did a little boo-boo on this. I... Should not have put glue all the way down the center because now it's going to glue on my chapstick. So I'm going to have to fit, going to have to cut another piece out for that and just layer it up again. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So I cut another one. I'm just going to layer it up. It'll just make it more sturdy. I'm just going to layer it on top. It's pressed down really well. So anyway, my grandson he calls. And wants me to buy, wants to know if I will buy him more Pokemon cards. So I said, where do I find them? So I start looking. I look on Amazon. I finally find them. And so I said, okay, buddy, if I buy them, I need you to do me a favor. Okay. And I said, I need you to make sure you clean your room. Okay. And I said, and make sure that, you know, that you're minding mama. I said, and this is the last Pokemon cards we're going to be buying for a while. Okay, and I said, because I already ordered you some that's supposed to come next week. So, needless to say, this grandma went online on Amazon. And it's going directly to my sweet Graham Graham to his house, to his attention. And, um... Yep, so I broke down and got him the Pokemon cards. But, you know, I guess they're only little ones. And I said, did you call me just so you can, so I will buy you Pokemon cards? 
Or did you call me because you love me? He goes, I call you because I love you and Pokemon cards. Hey, at least he was honest. So then after I finally said, okay, I bought them. They'll come to you tomorrow. And he goes, he gave the phone to my daughter. And my daughter's like, mom. And I'm like, he wanted them, Jess. He wanted them. And she goes, mom. And, and she goes, Graham, you're spoiled rotten. Now now your mommy and papa aren't going to have any food for money for food because they spend it all on your Pokemon cards. And I'm like, don't tell him that. Okay, these are looking super sweet. I like it. I like that very, very much. Let me see if I can press this down and get this down really good. Chapstick, Mary, um, Maggie Home style. Look at that. That's cute. So I'm just going to do mine super simple and I'm just going to add piece of ribbon on the top and my other grandson that got sick last weekend and wasn't able to come over he is feeling a hundred percent better so thank the Lord for that so proud okay so I'm just gonna cut myself too much like I normally do but I think I'm going to the stupid little hole and I think I'll cut that in half I don't waste too much okay but anyway thankfully he is doing much better I'm so relieved I told him how do you feel he goes I feel so much better I said well I am so proud I was so worried about you and he goes Thank you, Moggy. He is such a little man. Thank you, Moggy. I just love him. Okay. I'm going to pull this up like this. See how, how good I can get this. And I'm just going to make a little nice little tag on here. Or a, see, I think I'll cut these in a V. So, I'm going to fold them in half. I'm going to cut these like this. And there we go. Super cute. Now, you could add a little tag on the back. You could leave it like this. You could decorate it up. You could add flowers, which I don't think I want to add that. Let me see if I have a little embellishment or something. I think that uh, I don't know if I'm gonna like that either. I think that what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some little hearts and I'm not gonna do anything else. I don't want this to be too much. And I think I will put a little tag on the back and I think I'll leave it at that. So anyway, I just wanted to show you how this die works. It's fabulous. I love it. Um, can't wait to get the little pull thing for the back. Maybe that'll come next week. Um, but yeah, super easy and simple. And will actually make your chapsticks really cute for craft fair. As well as a cute little gift in your swap. Anyway, thanks so much everyone for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Love you guys. Bye.